January and at bobbyplay.com this month, it's all about clean eating. Now, when I think of clean eating, I think of things like smoothies and juices, salads, yogurts, grain bowls, things like that. Um, but the challenge for me was what beyond that is there? Today, I'm going to show you a great dish, cod, with, in a ginger broth with mushrooms and cockles. So for this recipe, I'm going to use about a 10 to 12 ounce piece of cod. This is Atlantic cod, wild Atlantic cod. Um, obviously, you could steam it. I'm showing you a little something different where you're going to just like cleanly bake it in the oven. Um, all it needs, so it's a 400, 375 degree oven, sorry. So it's a 375 degree oven, and I'm just going to season this with some salt and black pepper. Massage it in, just like that and then pop that in the oven. So while the fish is in the oven, we're gonna make our broth. And as I said, if everything is prepped out ahead of time, which you need to do, um, and the recipe's on, um, on our website, it comes together super fast. So on like a medium heat, we're gonna add a little olive oil, thinly sliced shallots, a nice amount of ginger. Now we're adding little neck clams. The recipe originally um, called for cockles, which are a bit smaller than this. Um, I couldn't get them in the market today, so these are little neck clams. We're going to add some sake. Okay, so at this point, the lid is on, and we're just looking for the cockles or the clams to steam open. And as soon as they steam open, we're going to remove them. So this should take somewhere around two to three minutes. Okay, so at this point, now we're going to continue to build our broth. I'm going to add about a cup of water. Now we're going to add some white miso paste and some black garlic. OK, so this has really come together very nicely in a matter of a minute. And now we're just going to add some assorted mushrooms. I have today some shiitake and some shimeji. And when they're sliced thin like this and when they're small, you can't, they literally will just wilt into the broth. So now I'm just going to add my gnocchi mushrooms and my chopped cilantro and chopped shiso, a touch of lime juice. So my fish is perfectly cooked. I just lay that on top of the broth, garnish it with a few more cilantro leaves and mushroom. Place those delicious clams back in. And there you have it. The cod is perfectly cooked, nice and flaky and moist. And the broth is spicy and just has tons of flavor. It's delicious. It comes together in no time at all and super clean. Enjoy.